Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you are new, welcome to the channel. It's your girl, Chanazo. Yes, I didn't upload last week, but I had a good reason, you know, I'm just trying new setups, trying new things. Like now I'm on my bed, you know, this is my world and you're just living in it. I'm just kidding. But before we get into today's video, make sure you subscribe, like this video, comment down below what you think. Oh yeah, and um, follow me on Instagram. As you can tell by today's title, this video is a little bit, hmm, hmm, a little bit more serious, but I'm gonna try to keep it as lighthearted as possible and as positive as possible. I think that's just the best way to deal with things nowadays, is just to talk about it, see how people are feeling, have an open dialogue and it really won't be an issue like that's literally it so yes depression anxiety negative thoughts we've all been there i don't care what anyone says oh you have it all figured out you have this and i don't care the most successful people in the world everybody feels it so let's talk about it one disclaimer I want to put out is I'm not a therapist, I'm just a person, I'm not a psychiatrist, I'm just a person, I'm just a college student just trying to have some discussion about the things that I've been through, that I go through every day, that I just feel like talking about. And that is why I'm starting this video diary series. I don't care how happy someone looks, I don't care how put together they look, I don't care what they have in their life negative thoughts bad feelings feeling of unworthiness it touches everybody everybody has felt low at some point in their life or you will feel low at some point in your life i'm just now at a stage where i don't feel low because of circumstances or because of worldly things that's going on around me because that kind of stuff just doesn't faze me anymore. Like, honestly, I say this all the time. Nothing is real, so that kind of stuff doesn't faze me. It's just the fact that when I let it bother me, that bothers me, if that makes sense. It's just the fact that I know that things are always changing. Things are always working out for me, you know? And I let little things bother me. I was like, why do you continue in this cycle? And I sat down. And I'm like, why do people continue this? Like, why is it such a hard thing to get a grasp of, to get a grip on, to get rid of, to stop? And besides, you know, the literal chemical imbalances that happens in the brain when someone is diagnosed with depression, let's talk about it. It's a real thing. It's a disease. It's something that people, it's not a personality trait. It's not like, it's not a character that you play. And that's what I mean when I say that it touches everybody. There's nothing that depression looks like. I'm not, it doesn't have to be someone in their bed and there's junk food all around them and they, it's dark in their room and no. We see people with depression every day working with us, going to work, getting things done, having a life, having kids, having a family. That's why I don't like people who are mean for no reason. You have no idea what somebody is going through or what someone just came from and you're being been the last thing that ticked them off and so i asked myself like how do you like get ahead of this cycle how do you get in front of it get out ahead of it you know like why does it always come back why does it feel like such a heavy dark cloud that just doesn't seem to go away like i said we talked about the chemical imbalances that just happens in some people's brain they're born like that and if you feel like you're one of those people you should probably seek you know professional help go talk to somebody um but i know in my immediate friend group and like people around me seeing a therapist like who does that like it's not like who does that like oh my god you're seeing a therapist you're terrible no it's just like ain't nobody got time for that like that's just like just like it just seems like a waste of time to a lot of the people that i know it's not an aesthetic it's not to be cute it's not fun to be you know depressed and that's not to say it's not your place to say somebody doesn't have depression but it's also not a fun thing to have that anybody can just go around saying that they have it's people who really do have depression who really do have to deal with it on a day-to-day -day basis it's not bad to go see a therapist and i don't feel like people even see it as bad i just feel like people don't want to take the time to do something for their mental health like we don't put like 
the emphasis on mental health like how we should and that's a fact it's not that we think it's oh don't talk about it no 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 one cares about mental health like we didn't care about it until like two years ago so let's be for real like if we cared about it the way we cared about our bbls and you know so when it comes to mental health practice those things practice gratitude practice practice positive thoughts like that's what you have to practice it's not something that it's like you go to the gym it's like you play sports it's like any other thing you have to practice it for it to become you know muscle memory for it to become a habit for it to become the way you live eating healthy all these stuff all these trends all these diets do a diet for your mind like I'm really on the verge of doing a social media break, a uh, social media detox, not because, you know, I want to say I'm doing a social media detox. It's true. We need to practice helping and feeding our mind good things if that's what you decide to do. Like I said, I'm not a therapist, but if you feel like and you want to really try to do it yourself, because, you know, like I said, we didn't really care about mental health until a few years ago. It's so it's hard to just be like, oh, I'm going to go see a therapist now. No, if you want to start doing it yourself, start really training your mind. You got a phone, you got a laptop, you can do it. Work on yourself, work on the things that you want to get done and you'll get there eventually. I'm just gonna end this video here. Hopefully my camera is still on. Like if it's not and if it didn't record this, like I don't know what I'm gonna do. Have a great day, be kind to one another. Um, follow me on Instagram while you're doing that. And then yeah, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace and love. Okay, I hope I got that.